Welcome to Imperium Galactic Survival Alpha 12 Experimental. And here we are, we're on my base. The sun has just come up. And in this part, what I want to do is get out and start to explore the planet with an SV. But before that, a little bit of a catch up of where we are. And if I move away and just show you what I've been doing off camera is I did a little bit of work with my base. I put some solar panels out, but I'm starting to get the impression they're probably not really in the right place. Although I have tried them in different places, I can't seem to get the the response more than two, which is not good. What I've also done is put a cannon on the roof. It's only a 15 millimeter, but I think hopefully it will deter the uh, drones when when the base attack comes in. I've also put in a large constructor and a food processor. What I actually did was is if I, if I should point out towards done if I, can, I don't know if you can see this on the horizon but right out on the horizon just on the edge of the water i found a great big field of rocks so i sat out there for i think it was about two days in game time with the portable constructor mining out all the rocks and turning it into ore which has given me enough to get things a little bit up and running although the other thing i also tried to do which wasn't such a good idea was uh, starting to rain was to come over to the iron deposit and see if I could mine this out. And I got a very nice reception from two swamp golems. So I had to beat a little bit of a hasty retreat. Anyway, let's just get down to the main focus of this part. We're going to spawn in our new ship. It's a pretty good looking ship in its own way. Now, if we hit P and come into devices and go up, you will see that this ship has no... Car um, cargo container. It says cargo box, but it says ammo. If I come into here, you can see I've got space for 7,414 uh, resources. And I think that's pretty interesting because it means that you don't have to do that split and you can get a bit more storage of the ship. I think whoever thought that up and came up with a pretty good idea for that. I think what we're going to need to do is power this ship. I mean, the other thing I've, I like about this ship is it has got a detector on it. And I think that's going to be very useful as well. Anyway, let's just get everything set up. What I've been doing is I've been putting in some power. Actually, let's do it this way around. Uh, large wreckage. Freedom on this side. Because it means that we will get access to the fuel. I don't want to put too much fuel in the moment. That's, that's going to be interesting. And, of course, we're going to have to put in some... I've made about 1,500 rounds of ammunition. Uh, I've made some biofuel and we'll take the promethium with me and you know, and I think what we're gonna, we're gonna do is I've also made some cereals believe it or not <laughs> whoops I just said it some by mistake and we'll take the beans with me I'll take the herbal leaves as well cereals quite an odd one I must admit I've never ever made it before but if I come to the food processor and back it a little radiation hotspot there. I'm not too sure what's causing that. If I show you the cereal, it's actually grain and milk. And you can get milk from plant protein and purified water. So it's one of the few things I can make at the moment with the absence of meat. So that's the reason why I've made grain. And it actually gives 24 health and 47 food. So in some ways, I mean, the perish time is quite low. But in some ways, that's quite a, a useful thing to have. Anyway, I think that's about it. Let's just get into this little ship. Uh, and see what the power situation is, yes. Turn on turrets. Got no shield. Uh, fly out here. And the first thing I want to do is get over here. I want to go and recover the Prometheum. We're going to go this way. And I would like to get a little bit of revenge on any swamp golems that are out here I think gaining the Prometheum will be quite advantageous and let's just right we've got a whole range of resources out there we've got smugglers barge but the first thing I really want is the Prometheum I'm just going to get in here because there's a very real risk that if I don't have the Prometheum uh, I could run out of fuel, which is not good. So we're going to get in here. I, I was pretty sure I had a, a what now? 
I was absolutely positive I had a... Oh, there it is. Yes. Grab that. <laughs> Left a whole load of resources, but no Promethium over me. Never mind. It's not a problem. Um, just going to transfer this to the ship. I mean, we've got a hover starter panel there. I'm keeping the plant fibers just in case I, I need them. And I think what we're going to do is well, we'll grab that there. And I better pick this up as well while I'm at it as well, come to think of it. A um, little bit of grain. This really update is very much a update of firsts because. In the last video, it's the first time ever I've had to resort to high-level le high, high mining of rock to get basic resources. And also, it's probably the first time I've ever had to mine grain and make breakfast cereal in this game. In many ways, I really like that because it's, it's bringing into elements of the game which would be very easy to ignore. Anyway, let me just get... I want to stay close to the ship. And where's the hole for the Promethium? There it is. Because I certainly want the Promethium. Oops. Ah. Um, I'm just going to come in here. And of course, one thing we are going to do, double tap. The... And just want to get down and see if I can get a little bit more Promethium before we leave. In fact, I wouldn't mind getting all of it. So I know where I stand. So we're just going to get down and get this and I'll be right back once I've got everything I need. Got a feeling that is about all the Promethean in this area. Go down and double check. Yeah. I'm not seeing any more. There's not as much Promethean there as I was hoping for, but we'll take it. And before we move on, I just want to go through this ship. I mean, this ship's got everything there. And more importantly, in fact, I'll just land again just to show you what that's actually got is if I come around the back here, you'll see that in the back here, there's actually some space for some extra extra items, including a, a an SV constructor, which I think is really great. So what we will probably be doing is putting in an SV constructor as well. There's a smuggler's barge over there. Now, I might have a bit of a complication here. So I've got a horrible feeling that a lot of the resources that I'm going to be interested in are... Also, oh, we've got a crash ship over there. It's going to be in Talon territory. So I think what we're going to have to do is activate the pest control mission. Right, yep, let's go. Now, the reason I've activated the pest control mission is simply down to the fact that if I'm going to be trying to mine in Talon territory I don't really want to upset them right, oops, let's just get there hopefully I can stand on the top of this ship, this is where I knock myself off and right, we got uh, this is full of ammunition and I think we're going to just leave the smuggler's barge for the moment because it's probably not going to have the type of ammunition I, I want. Let's just get out and discover things. I think that's probably more important than anything else at the moment. Especially all this over here. This is over a kilometre away, but... Looks like there's hostiles over there. Wow. Why am I flying in the wrong direction? just need to find out what's actually in Talon territory. I mean, we could do the main Talon mission. That might be an option. I found some more copper. Still not. Still looking for silicon. But of course, we're actually in Talon territory, which is not good. I certainly don't want to go to war. Right, we found the Talon settlement. Uh, 
Oh, looks like we may actually get there's a minigun drone to the south of us. There's resources to the south of us. I wouldn't mind shooting up a minigun drone. One, to test the weapons. And two, they might give us a little bit of extra resources. Gain heights. Oops. Gotcha. Ah. Everybody loves us now. Wouldn't mind. Certainly want to loot that mini drone. Actually on the ground. No, it's not. We have to get used to the ship. It's our first official kill. We've got a couple of power cells, which is another reason why I wanted to sort this out. And another copper deposit. Thank you, game. Always wanted. Something says level one something over here. is this? Talon Warrior Temple. Not exactly. Wow. That's interesting. I think that could be worth taking a better look at. I think well, we're going to have to come out this way. Uh, I'm interested in this resource. What I really want is silicon. Uh, where's the... Oh, look at that. Silicon deposit, 1.6 kilometers. That wasn't a bad guess, was it? It looks like a lot of these silicon areas are defended. They're just That's outside of Talon territory. It certainly works. Gotcha. Yeah, one of the downsides of using the scanner is the fact that your weapons aren't active, so you're going to have to get into the habit of flipping back between weapons and the scanner. Anyway, we're just going to get in here. The rocket drone would be quite useful. There's actually some uh, natural sweetener here as well. We could probably do with that. Just going to come in here. Okay, we're just going to loot out the. Oh, we got flux coils, more fuel packs. I'm not going to say no to those. What's that? That's just a rock. Yeah, I must admit, it is really nice to be able to just go out and collect resources. Um, resource drill. Wait. Still not going to be complacent. I, want, I still want to gather as much as I can around here. Of course it's also nice to be above all the bug uglies as well. I'll we'll just grab that for the XP. Oh, we got some... I'm going to pick up the moss scrapings. Natural sweetener is really good. Some more moss scrapings there under the tree. Over there, we've got some horrible leaves. We'll take those. Let's have a little bit of a run round. I mean, 100 XP a time will push things up really quickly. Oh, looks like we got got trouble coming in. Uh, got trouble coming in big time here. <laughs> I can see you. That means that there is probably Xerox on the ground here. Which is going to be great fun. Okay, they're there. Wait. Of course, I can't flame and see these guys. 
Probably the first indica yeah, the first indication I'm gonna get is they're gonna shoot at me. Maybe if we get round the back of the tree here. I certainly wouldn't mind getting rid of them. Because I don't want them shooting me up. Where are you? You must have put somebody down. Stop hiding from me. Oh well. It looks like they're not here. I certainly want the silicon. So we're gonna fly up here. This is gonna be a little bit risky. This is gonna be quite deep actually. Yeah, I think we're gonna leave that silicon. At least I know where it is now. Right, I think we've got Warrior Temple here. Let's just throw out another scan. Anything else here? Right, I want, I want to keep coming. That is a, probably a temple. We're going to get back into Polaris territory. Uh, not Polaris, Talon territory. Let's just take this and just keep going. What is this? A damaged alien tower. Oh, this is part of the Robinson Protocol. Although it's different. It's not the same as it used to be with the Robinson Protocol. Um, oh, we'll just keep going. I just want to keep opening up as much of these resources as possible so I can plan where I want to go. There's a little bit of a cluster over here. So we're back in... Yeah, wow. I mean, that's interesting how, how what the range of this is. Um, I think we're going to go south and check out the copper deposit. In fact, that's a little bit of a dodge, isn't it? I mean, let me just try something out. Ping. Uh, that's waypoint remove on approach. Waypoint remove on approach. Waypoint, remove on approach. <laughs> oh, look at that. See if you if you so if you tag on somewhere, you can actually see what you're doing. There's another one over there, so right, we've got one resource missing here, so we got copper. We've got iron. We've got something here. More copper. And we found a T1 settlement belonging to the Talon. The trouble is this is all in Talon territory. Let's see if we can find a drone again. I think I'm just going to need to start shooting down drones. Wow. Where's that drone gone? Over that way. There's the minigun. There you are. Just gonna have to keep shooting up on these drones. quick way. I think I'm probably being cooked because I'm... I'm still on the engines. Yeah, heat collapse. Oh, thank you. Okay. I don't know if I got a cure for heat collapse. Heat stroke. I've got heat stroke. <laughs> yeah. One of the design flaws of this ship is that if you, come, if you go out of the wrong way, you end up standing on top of the engine and you cook yourself that was my fault that was so I've got I've tagged the deposits we've got an alien tower my instinct is just to keep going for the moment I mean I've got the the fuel I can and if push comes to shove that's why I just put all those in there and um, I think we'll put this stuff in the fridge before it spoils and uh, we'll put some 
stuff in the controller. And that can go in there. What is my standing with the Talon? Let's have a look. So we're in neutral at the moment, so we've got to do a little bit more work before we can start doing it, get being able to mine in their area. We've got the Krill and neutral pirates. Well, we've got a whole load of new factions. We've got Xerox, Talon, Polaris, pirates. Carry a little bit of vapor. Get a few more of these drones. Get the weapons locked. Is it me or my? I don't. We don't seem to be getting the the bar at the moment. So we've got some standing from that because the Xerox are unhappy with us. <laughs> Let's just get in and a rocket drone. Oops, and please. Jump out. And got some more power cells, that's useful. Rocks. There it is. Oh, some silicon. Take the silicon. Ah, no, 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 don't do that. We're going to upset the talon. Nearly made a mistake there. Yeah, we've got to remember we can't pick up more mine or do anything inside of Talon territory at the moment. Right, we found a Talon Bazaar. Right, let's just skip through. Wow, I'm glad I didn't make hover vehicle. Getting through this terrain in a hover vehicle would be really tough going. But what we can do is a little bit of canyon flying. This is something I normally do in No Man's Sky, but I think in this game is where I make a little bit of an exception. Right, we got some more. Uh, lots of resources over here. So we'll just keep going. And we're actually moving towards uh, Xerax territory. It'd be really good to see what we're up against Xerax wise. Don't really want to get into. Yeah, we're in Xerox territory now. Wow. What's that there? Right, we're going to have a bit of a, a little super duper fly through. Wait. Please wait for scanner to recharge. Right, we've got a smuggler's barge there, which we can check out. Rocket drone here. Can't see what that base is. Uh, level one defense out the way. Can't go before they wake up. Oh, high speed fly through. A large nest. Probably will end up finding these nests and killing them. But that'd be for the next part. Another nest. Certainly, going to want to kill those. There's a whole load of stuff here. Up here, what's up there? Oh, we certainly want to check that out. Let's get it to recharge. Oh, we've got a cobalt deposit there. Very small. I think we could probably get in and just mine this out. We're not in anybody's territory. I think if it's very small, it's probably worth just trying to grab this straight away. find a safe spot to stand. Oh, there's a... Okay. I can hear you. Aha. Oi. Inseki man.
go virtually vertical. Yeah, this is why I got this ship, mate. So you can't take me out like that. Anyway. Just jump down. Might as well make it worth our time. I've lost that deposit. Right, let's get in. Oh, there's a column. I want you as well. Wait, where are you? Oops. Wait. I'm over here. This is Swamp Golem. I think he's actually fighting that dinosaur, isn't he? That's interesting. I've never ever seen creatures attacking other creatures in the game. They put a new mechanic in. Interesting. Anyway. Yeah, I know you're there. Oh. Oh, I was hoping to get some gold. So I've never ever seen that before. I think we may have to deal with uh, the locals. Right, back to this. Uh, okay. um, source drill. This is it's 35 meters down. I might have to. Yeah, I think it's just very faintly down there. I don't know if any of you can actually see the blue circles on the camp. Uh, there it is. We're starting to get a bit of colour difference now. Get down to this. Definitely going to have to make a drill. on forgetting let me just see and so what happened to that don't tell me I've lost it there it is oh ah. so get rid of all this as well bridge uh, have that Is there's the cobalt. First person back on top of the ship, get off away from the thrusters. I think it's easier just to I'll just do it that way. Right, I've got the hook this time. Oops, no. Change to the controller. Plenty of space at the moment, which is really great. Oops. Right, I'm just going to Close the hole. I think there's one more piece down here. There it is. I'm just going to go in and get this. It's not a lot, but it's going to be useful. And that gets rid of that one. Is this the new markers for Polaris? A submerged tank here. If I can find it. Yeah, we got a Polaris settlement here. So Polaris isn't blue anymore. Right, there's some drones over there. Excavation site. Would love a trading station. Another excavation site. Lots of drones around here. There's a submerged tank. Yeah, a submerged tank is really good. I think we can be a little bit sneaky here. But now there should be some really good uh, vaults in the bottom of the submerged tank. Thank you, game. This time we're going to turn the thrusters off. Keep the power on.
getting a bit hungry actually as well. Uh, shotgun. Make sure it's reloaded. Yeah, see, this is a nice loot down the bottom, but there's bound to be spiders in here as well. Let's have a quick look. <laughs> How did I know you were there? So, oh, look at that. Yes, we want, certainly want that. I, am I close enough? To, yeah, we're close enough to freedom as well. Oh, this is a bonanza. Worry about getting out later on. Yes, we got. Oh, we got another multi tool. What happened to everything that was in there? I put it the wrong way round. Oops, I did it the wrong way. My apologies for that. Yeah, nearly made a bad mistake. And we got some safety, and we got a rail gun, and we got a, a boost that could be useful. And we got some larger. Now comes the fun bit. Let's get out of here. Um, can we? Uh, I think we can, we go out to the side door here. Get to the edge, you can dig your way out. No, I was just gonna have... use this as an opportunity to have a look round. Uh, um, I can probably jump up there. I can get the height. Yep. Um, if we can. There we are. I mean, we could scrap this for some resources as well while we're at it. Pick up a couple of stuff. Actually, what am I doing? I've got Promethium now. What am I doing? Yeah, I've got to come out of miserly mode now and. I mean, I've got the Prometheum to be going on with. Anyway, I think that's enough of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good now, to be honest. Just as on. Right, let's just take a quick recount of what I've got. Uh, that can go in the fridge. I've got some alien tooths, so I can make some medication at last. So it's nice to see the spiders. Certainly going to put that on our have to take that with us. So we've got some satium, we got that there. A little bit more ammunition, we got some cobalt. Things are looking up now, we've got some extra armor boosts. Certainly could do with an EVA. I found another small wreckage, where are you? It's not often I complain about map being crowded but <laughs> I think maybe oh, it's a small wreckage yeah we're certainly gonna check the small wreckage out something over there Wow oh I think I've just seen the future there's, there's artillery cannons there turrets Wow that means business I think going to war with the Polaris is going to be interesting. If that's a sample of what the future is going to be, I, I hate to think what some of the Xerox bases are going to be. Yeah, I mean, breaking into this is going to be absolutely awesome. I must admit, I've, I've got mixed feelings about the, the fact that the, the um, Xerox and that can use um, player turrets. 
Um, there's part of me that's excited with the idea of going in and having to take them on, but at the same time, there's also part of me that says that we're probably going to get. Oh, this one's buried. I don't really want to dig this out, so I won't bother with that just for the moment. So let's just check this one out. Looks like this one's buried as well. Oh, we might be able to just get in and pick something up here. Um, yeah, there we are. Let's just. Well, we got a couple of uh, capacitors. Won't say no. What we got over here? That's the excavation site. I think we're just going to go and see what's over this way. We must just keep expanding this area. Some more resources. I mean, overall things are looking good. I think I'll just leave those tanks in for the moment. I think what I'm going to do is come here. Talon mission. We're going to go for the stories of the past. Yeah, let's go. What that should do is show up the, the Talon building we've got to go to. It could be there. What's that? It says that's actually a Polaris. I should have noticed, isn't it? The colour change there. Uh, right, we've got a damaged alien tower there. I'm not seeing monument. We've got to get right round to here, so we've got a lot more exploration to do. Right, yeah, well, I don't want to. Don't want to. Right, I think we're going to risk a little bit of a high speed fly through here. Magnesium. Oops, sorry boys, hello. A large nest, magnesium. There we go. Nest, nest, nest. Magnesium. Turn, turn north and see what we got over here. One game. Right, got some small wreckage tucked in here. It's underwater. I'm not going to do that in the dark. Right. Um, right, we're on the edge of Xerox territory. I think maybe it's time to work my way home, but I think we'll go home via this one here. And we're going to head east. Which way is east? Let's just start making my way back to base. Oops, I need something to eat as well. Let me just come into here. Bridge. Uh, I think we'll just have the canned beans. Or canned meat. There's something in that direction there. Which direction are we heading now? Down that way. Let's go and open this up. I found an ancient outpost. Oops. Cooked a tree. Got lights on this ship? Yes, we have. That's not great interest. The monument is four kilometers that way. A whole load of stuff this direction, so let's go and open up this area here. What have we got in this direction? So we got it looks like we might have a crash small ship down here. That could be useful. Oh look at that. Gold dust. We found a crash ship. The UCH Heidelberg. That's good. Um, UCH Dart. Oh, we've got a veritable gold mine here. Uh, rocket drone over a crash capital vessel. Yes. So. Hello, guys. You're over water. I'm not particularly interested in shooting you down at the moment. Curious to find out what this is. Right, we found another smuggler's barge. 
think I think somebody oh broken engine as well. Wow. Oh this is gonna be we got a broken engine. Not exactly sure what a broken engine is, but we'll be checking that out. We've got a whole raft of resources here now. Haven't found the gold yet though. Well, that would be a Oh, go away. That's probably another smuggler's barge. We'll be back. We will be back. Don't worry. Oh, what I really want to do is just open this area up as much as possible. What's this here? It's another smuggler's barge. It's only gonna... I know some of you are probably wondering why is he flying all over the place, but I think it's quite important at the moment just to find out what's out and about so that maybe I can choose a new base location and or how we're going so we're getting back into Talon territory Let's see what this is because what I'm going for at the moment is the quick wins on this first flyover and then once we've got the quick wins out of the way we can get down to yeah. oh this is a uh, No drones around here, so this might be a good place to actually finish up. If any of you have never done this, this is the. It's going to have some screaming abdabs in it. There it is, there's the entrance. And there should be a good um, loot in here. Sure, we're loaded. Yeah, here they are. Oh, hello, boys. <laughs> this is probably the easiest way to deal with them. alien tooth on them which is something I need for medicines anyway let's get back to here I think there should only be the two of them in here anyway back to here get nice and close um, the core is just up inside there should be able to let me correct you. We just. Oi. Make sure we we'll shoot. Yeah, we are destroying it. Right, we got control of the core. Got some Zarkozy. Oh, Zeno steel blocks. Heavy armor. <laughs> Oh, I'll take the heavy armor. Uh, I'll take that. And uh, we're certainly going to take the Zarkosium. You can imagine what this is going to do yet. Yeah. Uh, we're going to split the difference. Xeno steel blocks are very nice, but at the same time, it's not. Thing. Okay. Oh, we got. Wait. Cut it out. Buddy, reload. <laughs> Hello. Another one in here. Hey, you're not meant to come in here. So I need to take the meat. I think, can I get him? Behind here, get the 
multi tool out. Salvage. Pretty sure it's up behind here that it's the fuel tanks. That's armoured. Uh, steel plates. And we don't have a lot of space. Don't need the bike. Let's just get everything set up where it should be. Put that in the fridge. Got some titanium plates, yes. That's what I'm looking for. In fact, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here, we're gonna trash those. And what we're looking for is hardened steel blocks. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. This is probably far better than the mining. So we're just gonna keep I'm not interested that much in Xeno. Oops. My jetpack actually on. Right, that's the small generator, we'll take you. I'm after we're certainly gonna 107 is probably not gonna give me any fuel. A little bit of fuel. But I certainly want these hard the steel blocks. I want those titanium plates. I just hack through that bit there. And if I hack through that bit there, and that bit there, that should collapse. That would give me some steel. But if we can do the same over here. Hack through here. And here. Trying to save the fuel by hacking off the front of this building, but I think it'd be worth it. We're getting armored concrete, and, uh, which is a bit of a pain. But I'm uh, gonna take out you and take out you. Okay, what I've done is I've hacked through here. I'm not we just that might be a bit of a problem. I'm just gonna take that out and that out. Sometimes the game still thinks these are connected, even when they're not. And what I've done is I've isolated off this corner. So in theory, once I undermine this corner here, this whole area should collapse and give me a nice big pile of steel plates and titanium. i to be a bit careful. I'm now starting to run a little bit low on my uh, uh, multi-charge fuel. Okay, you've got to do this for me. Here. Oh, come off it, game. Oh, it might be this bit here. There it is. And we've just got a major collapse. And grab this, grab this. Is that it? Nope, there's a bit more. Okay, but inventory's full. Quite happy to leave stuff behind if necessary. So what have we got here? We've got 859 titanium plates, thousand steel plates. We've got some, still got some, a few odd hardened steel plates. Yeah, I think we're looking good. I think that was certainly well worth the effort. Um, not as big as this one. Oh, oh, that's just. Yeah, I'm not interested in you. Sorry. And I think that is going to be about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it interesting. What are we doing in the next part now? Now I've got a feel for what's around. We've got a little bit more exploring to do, but I think we can now start building up and maybe get a constructor in the SV and we can then start taking the war to hostiles. Certainly going to need to be friends with the Talon because we're going to need some extra resources to mine and we're certainly going to start getting out and about now. I think we've made really big progress. We have to repair the ship as well. I mean, there's still the gold ore to find to get an EVA suit so that we can go out into space and explore space. But this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.